Hello everybody, it's Hardcore Ninja here with a brand new SFML side-scroller game engine tutorial. Alright, we're on video 4. I'm having a lot of fun uh, banging these videos out. Um, it's been a blast. Okay, so so far we've dynamically linked our SFML uh, libraries. We created a pre-compile header. We created a GitHub repository. We created our game class. And in the very last video, we created our graphic settings class. We're initializing it right here in the game uh, constructor. And then we're building our window dynamically using um, this graphic settings configure file. Okay. So at this point, you should be right here. It should be looking like this. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay. Now today we're going to work on supported keys. Now, I went ahead and created this supported keys um, file, but what I want you to do is I want you to, here, I'll show you how to get here from the homepage. You go to, I'm on the SFML homepage, all right? So I go to learn, I go to API documentation, I go to modules, I go to window module, I go down to SF keyboard, okay? What you need to do is you need to create a document in your project folder, the same folder with your uh, main.cpp and the config folder, go into config. I already did this, um, but you just create a supported keys.inn file, uh, same file format as the graphics sets. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to copy from A here all the way down through key count. Okay. The ones at the bottom here, like this is like they used to call it dash hyphen, or I mean, they, they they now call it hyphen, they used to call it dash, you know, like a hyphen, like this thing right here in the website, right? So hyphen's up here, all right? So the old way of saying that was dash, now we call it hyphen. Uh, backslash used to be spelled with a capital S like this, and now we spell it with a lowercase s. Semicolon used to have a capital C, now it's lowercase c. So you don't need to copy the bottom ones, you just wanna copy from key count up through A and paste them in here and make sure that each one of them has their own unique line. Um, also, like what I like about uh, SFML is I can catch extra ASCII information. So if I were to put a space here, I can see that I'm adding spaces. So like when I um, go to find and I wanna, I wanna find if there's any spaces, I can clearly see the spaces and remove them, okay? So you want all of these if you did it correctly, you should have um, 102 lines. Uh, Sublime Text, you can download the free version of it and be able to use it for this uh, case here. So um, I would recommend you do that. You should have 102 lines. You wanna get rid of all the commas and not have any extra information in this, all right? Just essentially every everything that's here from the A through key count should have its own line in here, all right? And you wanna save that, okay? And just save it like that, okay? Bada boom, bada bing. Now we can close this, okay? So now what we want to do is we're gonna create a map. And essentially in our map, these are gonna be the string keys that are gonna line up with an int that is going to be the equivalent uh, to the uh, ints of these numerators. So A equals zero, B is one, C is two, et cetera. So there should be really 101 unique keys because we're starting from zero. So it's like zero, one, two, three, et cetera, right? So this is how we're gonna do that, all right? So what we want to do, let's go up here. We're gonna call this um, supported keys. And what we want to do, is we're gonna do an STD map of an std string and an int, okay? And this will be called supported keys, uh, like that, all right? So this is like our supported keys map, okay? And, oops, and I'm gonna probably move this to the state class so I don't have to deal with a raw pointer um, at a later stage. But um, actually, no, I won't do that because I want this global, huh? Yeah. 
I will look up on how to try to make this a unique pointer, because ideally, anytime we use a pointer, we'll use a unique pointer. But, um, or I might be able to send this in as a reference. I'll have to check that out. I think I might be able to send it as a reference. And then that'll get, a, that'll get around us having to use any raw pointers. My, I'm trying to, like, not use any raw pointers at all, because old school raw pointers suck. Alright, thank god it's 2020. Or 2021. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, init supported keys, okay? And we're going to create this little initialization function, okay? Like this. Okay, and in this initialization function, we're going to have uh, std uh, if stream. So this, again, just like in graphics settings, this means for in file stream, so we're pulling information into our application from a file. All right, and we're going to uh, go ahead and open it with uh, this file we created. Okay, so go ahead and just pause the video and make that file real fast. Bada boom, bada bing, you're gonna be in good shape. All right, so like if, so um, when we create this object, it's gonna uh, essentially open this file and connect it to this object. All right, so IFS is open, okay. And I name it um, IFS for in file stream. Okay. So outside of this, we're going to want to create a couple of variables here. We're going to want to create an std string. These are going to be like uh, temp files. So we'll call this key. And we'll call this um, key value, I guess. Um, and probably want to initialize these to something because that's just like the good thing to do. Initialize that to zero. Okay. Cool. So what we want to do is we want to um, make a while loop now. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to check my notes. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. Huh. No pun intended. Oops. Go here. It's in the project game engine over here so i'm just going to check my notes real fast just as a quick reminder it's a lot of a lot of syntax to keep track of all right yeah all right cool 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 excellent excellent, excellent. all right i understand what's going on all right so yeah so i was kind of right all right so what we want to do is while while this in file stream is pulling the strings into the software for each one of these uh, until it hits the very last, uh, the, the 102nd, essentially, line in this code. Alright, so while it's pulling this down to line 102, alright, what we want to do is we want to say this, uh, supported keys, and, um, this will be the string that we use is going to be equal to key value okay like that okay so essentially um the first time it goes around it's going to pull in uh it's going to pull in it's going to pull in this a and assign it a value of zero okay then after that we want to do key value. We want to increment key value. Okay. So it's going to open the file. Then it's going to go A, 0, B, 1, C, 2, etc. Like that. Bada boom, bada bing. And that should be it, right? Yeah, that's it. Bada, bada boom. That's it. That's the core of the supported keys. All right. Done. Okay. And now, once it's done with that... We'll do isf.close, close the file. All right, definitely want to close these files just like that when you're done. And then we can do a little for loop here, auto i uh, this supported keys. And we can do std c out. We can do, um, we can say like, uh, we can do this, uh, no, do I 
dot first we'll grab the key um and then do a little space and then we'll do i dot second we'll grab the int associated with it and uh we'll do a little line after every time it goes around all right and that's our little debug debugger okay and the only thing we want to do now is go this in it supported keys and we should be done all right so if all is well you see oops that's really fast but uh it pulled in everything you see oops now what's coming out here is everything's going to be in alphabetical order so um you see a is zero b is one c is two like what we did but um you know we might want this to be an unordered map um that way everything will be in order uh let me see uh let me go back here i think this will be up uh, let me see if i can find it uh unordered all right yeah so unordered map if you make this an unordered map yeah, you see, if you make it an unordered map, um, huh, it still did it though. Weird. Never mind, just make it a normal map. I thought if you made it an unordered map, it would be so. Just, just make it a, map. just make it an STD map. Let me see if there's any other. Nah, it's fine. Just make it a map. It's fine. All right. So, um, the reason why it's appearing like this is because it's taking the keys and it's also putting them in alphabetical okay but it should have everything and essentially if you look for the key what was it the um if you look for the uh key count that should be 101 key count 101 like that bam see awesome so this is the enumerator for the key and then this is like the string we use to find this enumerator in the map okay and that's how that works all right, bada boom, bada bing. Okay, so now at this point, this is this is a quick video. That's all it's gonna be. I'm gonna go over here. Gonna get. Uh, let's just run this one more time. Just be extra safe. Yep, everything's there. We got all the keys. Bada boom, bada bing. All nice and comfy in there. They're all looking good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to get, uh, commit stash and um added uh supported uh keys function uh added yeah uh supported keys all right um and then game dot h what do we do here so uh we uh added this Okay, two, we added this. Oops, no. All right, yeah, I didn't do anything weird, right? All right, and that's all I did. So what I wanna do is wanna close, make sure I didn't accidentally hit anything. If I did, it would prompt me to save. All right, so game.cpp. Okay. Okay, and this is pretty much all I did, so I added all of this stuff and then two added this two and if you can copy from this one copy from this one because you can't screw this one up so i'm going to copy the constructor from here okay just like that all right and i'm going to commit that all right now that's nice and safe okay so now we have all the uh, keys SF SFML provides um, in a nice little map there. Okay, beautiful. All right, I'll see you in the next video.